The fifth common cause of foodborne illness is adulterated food. Americans rarely think about this risk factor since we live in a country where we have strict regulations. However, it's important to know what to look for in an adulterated food. First of all, though you may love your grandma's jellies and meatloaf, you can't use home canned or prepared food in a restaurant setting. Meat must be USDA inspected, including game meat. Milk must be grade A. Eggs must be from a regulated source. All food that is served or sold to the public must come from a source regulated by an agency like the FDA, USDA, or the local health department. Here are some examples of foods that would not meet the standards required to be served to the public. If there is a dent or crease on any seam, the can should be rejected. If a regular can opener cannot open the can, then it should be rejected. If the can cannot stand upright, or if it's bulging, then the can should be rejected. Finally, if there's any cut on the end seam, reject the can as well. At receiving, the person in charge should look at the labels for proper hot and cold holding temperatures and expiration dates, but also keep an eye out for spoilage and insect or rodent infestation. It's so important for the person in charge to be available when deliveries come through the door to ensure the food order is safe and of exceptional quality. You are the customer and you should get what you order. Good retail practices are things that are not necessarily going to prevent an illness outbreak, but they are rules that should still be followed on a daily basis. Storage areas should be clean and dry, and all food must be stored at least six inches off the floor and away from the walls. Follow the first in, first out principle. Use foods with the most recent expiration date last. Date mark potentially hazardous foods properly. These are foods that are prepared on site or have been opened. These foods must contain the date it was prepared or opened and or the day it will be discarded. Potentially hazardous foods cannot be stored more than seven days. Disease vectors are those insects, rodents, and other animals that transmit disease-causing organisms to the skin, food, or other objects. It's very important to control these pests before they become a problem. The best way to do this is to clean and sanitize regularly. Deny them food and deny them access. Do not, under any circumstances, leave doors to your establishment wide open. This is an open invitation for vectors to invade your kitchen. Other risk factors involve chemical storage, structural design, and lighting. Keep all chemicals away from food storage. Label everything, even water. Many times it's difficult to tell the difference between flour and rat poison or water and bleach water. Always follow label recommendations. The manufacturers develop the chemicals and know exactly how they should be used. Please do not take it upon yourself to mix up your own concoction. Structurally, everything in the establishment should be built using easy-to-clean, non-porous surfaces. There should be adequate lighting throughout the food preparation and storage areas. Okay, it's time to review the things we've learned. 